just a few minutes, but first we do have some breaking news out of Beaver Dam where a race car driver is dead tonight. The Beaver Dam Raceway hosting a sprint series tonight sent all spectators home early. The crash happening around 630, quickly ending the last race night of the season at the raceway. And the night team's Matthew Simon is live in Beaver Dam with more on this breaking news. And Matthew, what, what can you tell us at this point about what happened tonight? Such a sad night here in Beaver Dam, Danica. We are just a few uh, miles away from the racetrack. It is down that way. The manager here, understandably shaken up, so she said, please don't be on the track tonight. And we understood that because this is a, such a tight-knit community. This 47-year-old man we are learning from the police chief out here was racing around the track. He was part of a practice team, basically, warming up around the track, eventually at that 7 o'clock start time, going to start racing. So there's two groups of drivers. The first ones go around, do their practice laps. Then the second group, which he is a part of, goes around the track three times. On that third lap, the police chief tells us he hit something, and the manager inside of the track telling us it was another car at that point his car hit the wall and that is what she says killed him at that point this is such a hit for this community such a tight-knit community dating back to something like the 1960s out here they have gone on and built this tradition of sprint car racing these are the type of hardcore cars that uh, race around tracks, race around dirt tracks. And so um, this is a really close community that has lost one of their own tonight. The driver, we are told, is 47 years old from Brookfield, Wisconsin, about 15 miles west of Milwaukee. His hometown, a small town, too, only about 6,400 people. So they will undoubtedly, just like the folks out here, be taking this pretty tough. The folks out at the track have put a response up on their website tonight. We are not releasing his name here at News 3 because police say his family hasn't been fully notified yet and we will of course continue to update this story as we learn new information live tonight in uh, Beaver Dam. I'm Matthew Simon, WISC News 3. Matthew, thank you so much for that report tonight.